Hi everyone, welcome to my Shoreline studio. I'm Sybil Mustick. Behind the camera is Joshua Blanc. Today we're going to do teapots. Now, in episode 61, we drew some uh, prompts out of a hat and I was hoping the teapot would come up, but it didn't. So we're just going to go for it and pretend that it's come up. <laughs> And uh, so we're going to go for these teapots. And I've been doing this for a while. And uh, I did use some stencils previously. And so I wanted to show you some of my teapots. Um, these are frameable and I'm probably going to enter them in a show soon. And this is with a stencil uh, that has gears and things. So it's kind of interesting. The routine is usually you mask it out, you do the base layer, then you mask out the area that you want as a teapot, do your stencil, you remove this and work with it some more. And this last one, um, I allowed the stencil to show and then covered up the, the uh, background more. So then we started working with uh, India ink, which I have here and feathers. So our feathers are a drawing tool that uh, while well, feathers have been around for a long time and they sharpen them and do things to them so that they become a calligrapher's tool. So this one I did sort of freehand um, and just went for it. Um, and this one I did last night um, being a little bit more careful, measuring a little bit more, and uh, and then, uh, as is my want, is to mess with it. <laughs> so who knows what will happen today. We're going to um, draw the teapot with the feather, and now India ink tends to break up, and uh, it's sort of scumbly looking, um, textural, so we'll see how the you know, everything reacts. I already have some base layers of, that we're going to be using. So let's just start. Now I have put uh, a grid underneath to help me. Um, I have a terrible lean when I draw things and uh, it helps to position things in such a way that you have a grid to follow. So I've taken the liberty of drawing some lines making a grid for myself as to where I want the teapot. Now it's just off center is where I'm going to put the lid here. This isn't quite the center either, my lines, and uh, we will see what happens. I'm going to start uh, just by marking where I sort of want things to be, the height. So I want to give a good measure of height here so just a few marks, which I'll probably take out later. And to see how far the handle goes and the, I guess, what's that called, Josh, a spigot? Spout. Spout, whatever. <laughs> and, and now the last one I did was kind of long, so I don't know how that happened. And we will make sure that doesn't happen today. And we're trying to get the base so that sort of gives you a start. And then of course, you've got to leave room for the shadow that's there. And I have a flower. Um, I should show the teapot uh, to the camera. So there's, there's flowers and leaves. Anyway, so let's give it a start. Now what I'm going to do is uh, instead of talking all the way through it, we're going to speed it up and I will do the drawing. I will correct with a brush as I go. I have some water here. I have my handy brush. Um, this kind of thing tends to blob and spatter and you just have to sort of work with it. And you're gonna get some thick lines and some thin lines, some you'll have to correct. So anyway, I'm going to go for it and we will just, I won't talk. Uh, you'll see me gesturing and maybe that'll help you understand what I'm doing. And I'll, I'll be doing some measuring and you'll notice that when I hold my brush up like this and I'll do this kind of thing to see, you know. And we, we can start by measuring. Um, we'll use the lid as a measurement and 
and should do it right at the center so that you have the diameter of the lid. And then we can measure how many lids there are in the teapot. And so about one and a little less than a half, so about one and a third. So arbitrarily, I'm going to say this is the size of my teapot and I'm going to do the lid and then I'll use that as a measurement. So here we go.
Okay, we're ready to put the white layer on the plate here with the teapot and uh, we'll see how it prints. This is just the release layer. White paint seems to be the best for that kind of thing. Unless you don't want to alter the color. In that case, uh, what you use is the, old, the uh, golden uh, medium. Just to show you that again, the super matte medium. All right. So here goes. Lining it up. Getting those edges. Yeah, let's see. Okay, we have a little bit of a problem. The plate's quite warm. We had it sitting outside so that it would dry fast, but maybe that's not so helpful. If you have this problem, then uh, go back to your medium. This seems to be all right. And we just had that one little spot. Maybe I'll put a little bit more white there and see if that will release. The heat of my hand helped release it too. That's why I'm rubbing in this one spot. Now let's see. That's better. Okay. Left a little bit behind, but you get the idea. So there's our teapot. And of course it reverses as we print it. We can crop the edges, that's not a problem. And we have some nice line work. Our flowers are visible. The pot is, well, this oval should be exactly the same as this oval. It's not quite, but then a lot of things are off a little bit anyway. <laughs> that's typical, but it's, it's fun to do and uh, a good drawing practice. So take out your teapots or your teacups or uh, whatever, coffee cups, coffee pot, um, and give this a shot. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be kind to one another and take care of yourselves and your families. Bye for now.